hello you guys it's design tuesday and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you how to design this bed day notebook with corel draw 2021 and i'm going to take this tutorial step by step so make sure you stick around till the end of this video and don't skip any bits of this video because it's actually going to be very interesting so without any further ado let's jump right in If this is your first time here and the videos you see on this channel looks like your interest that is graphic design and how to design with Corel Draw or Photoshop, consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video like this one every week. So these are the resources I'll be using for this design and I'm going to link up these resources on the community tab for channel members. So if you are a channel member, go to the community tab and click on the link and download these resources then you can make your own design then if you want to receive free resources just like this one click on join below this video and become a channel member then you can get free resources just like this one that is one of the benefits channel members get from this channel so let's go to corel draw so once you open up your corel draw this is the first thing you see you can always you always see a custom size just like this and what you need to do is to set your size to what fits the design you want to do but now we are designing a notebook and a notebook cover like this one is always a is always an a4 size so i'm going to click here and click on a4 like this you click a4 so this is the size and we want to set our orientation to landscape so you click on landscape and this is it and the next thing you want to do is to click on your rectangle tool and create this shape just like this and once you do that you need to make your shape to be exactly like a4 so you click outside here and you see the size of your a4 and my unit is in millimeters so i'm going to check out the size in millimeters that is 297 and 210 so i'm going to click on my shape and select here and type 297 and 210 and click on enter and once you do that you have the exact and actual a4 size so you press p on your keyboard to place your shape at the exact a4 work page okay and that is it so you right click here and click on select outline set outline color to take off the outline then you can give it a white temporal color then you hold here and drag to this other side until you have that notification which says center then you right click before you leave to uh, duplicate this a5 like this Control z to return it back then you click on this other a4 hold here and bring it to this other edge until you have center and then this is when you have two different a5 just like this one so with this we have been able to set the front page and the back page of the notebook so let's bring in the resources we have for this design and begin the whole design process so i'm going to open up my folder where i have the resources and i'm going to select this picture and i'm going to select uh, this background and select this and this is what i'll be using for the start so i'm going to bring it into corel draw and you i believe you know the normal importation process to import resources into corel draw so i don't have to go into a detailed tutorial that way i'm going to reduce this picture just like this and bring it here now you see this picture has some extensions here so i'm going to click on crop and then select the area i want to work on just like this and select it this way select here and click on crop and that is done so i'm going to bring in this background here and what i'm going to do now is to right click on the background and click on power clip inside and click on the front page and once you do that the background goes inside the front page of the design so next thing we are going to do is to open up the power clip so we make other editing inside the power clip so you click on edit to open up your power clip just like this and click on the background then you can reduce the background this way and bring it way down here then you open it up again just like this and this looks very perfect and next thing you want to do is to click on your pen tool and create this particular curve now i use pen tools to create curves for my designs 
and it can be a custom curve and your curve might not be exactly as mine but something similar to this will be very perfect so i'm going to click here and click here and get this curve just like this it drag it upwards to get this curve just like what you see here and that is perfect now i'm going to double click here now my curve does not have an outline that is because i removed the outline for my uh my color so i'm going to right click on black and click on set outline color then the outline comes up then you can click on this node and bring it to this other edge this other node and join it together and it gets this uh automatic uh color inside it but you can click here to take off the white color and this bug is actually because i'm using corel draw 2021 when if you are using uh another version of corel draw you can always ease your workflow rather than uh, corel draw 2021 so if you are using any other version just do the same process and everything is done and set so once this is done the next thing you're going to do is to give this shape this custom shape we have created here you give it a color so i'm going to give this uh this blue color here and you can see it's navy blue you give it navy blue and then right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and once you do that you have got your uh blue background set and next thing you want to do is to click and drag and duplicate now i want to create a curve with this shape that is why i had to click and duplicate that now let me show you how i was able to duplicate this shape again so i'm going to delete this off you click on this click and hold then drag it to any direction you want and right click before you leave to duplicate this and you give it any custom color you like then i'm going to uh click and drag again this time i'm taking this upwards and then i right click before i leave to duplicate now i have two shapes now and press shift on your keyboard and select the yellow and then you have these options here then you click on trim to trim out this so you can delete this other shape out and all you have is this yellow uh, shape here and i'm going to make this yellow shape gold color and that is why i'm going to go to my folder where i have the resources for this design and click on go now like i said i'm going to link up all these resources on the community tab for channel members so you can check it out and get these resources especially the gold uh color uh gradient they bring it to corel draw just like this now i've been able to make this gold color gradient and i've been using it for my designs for a long time now and each time i want to use gold on my design i easily bring in this gold and fill it anywhere i want to use it for my designs so you can download and use it if you like this gold color gradient so all i'm going to do now is to right click on this gold gradient and bring it to uh, the shape here and leave i'm going to do that again you click on the gold you right click and drag and bring it to where you want to fill it with and leave then you have these options you choose copy fill here and once you do that the gold gradient fills on this particular shape and then you can delete this off okay i think i will leave it here because i still need to use it again i'm going to adjust the fill so you click on the shape and you click on interactive fill tool then you adjust the fill just like this you take this upwards you can adjust the fill to fit your uh, expectations so you bring in this shape here you bring it here and this looks perfect here perfect and nice so you click on the blue shape again and fill it with a deeper blue color so i'm going to fill it this way you click on this other deep navy blue and this is what you get you click on uh, elliptical fountain field to make this uh give it this radial look but this time you're going to click on uh reverse field to reverse the field just like this and this looks perfect so let's see what it looks like on the outward look so you click on finish remember all this editing we have done it's actually inside the power clip so you're going to click on finish editing content to close the power clip or you press control on your keyboard and click outside the design to finish editing your power clip just like this and then this is how it looks so i'm going to click on this right click and click on power clip inside or you use this other process by right clicking and dragging to the shape 
you want and leave then you click on power clean inside it's all the same process then i'm going to open up my power clip once again and do few more editings before we move to the next process or the next step so you click on edit to open up your power clip just like this and you can bring this to this other direction and then i'm going to click on this yellow background and bring it here and right click before you leave it's just my normal process of duplicating elements then you're going to click on then selecting your yellow background you click on bitmap click on convert to bitmap and then you set your color mode to grayscale and then you click on ok and this is what you get and next thing you want to do is to click on effects click on adjust and click on gamma now i want to make this black uh, grayscale uh, background a little bit darker but then the gamma is too much so i'm going to leave it at 0.51 gamma value okay and that is fine then you're going to right click and drag to the blue shape and leave then you have power clip inside then this is what we get so you can you can press alternate on your keyboard and select the background inside the power clip and bring it down here then you can enlarge it this way to fill up the whole blue background and next thing you want to do is to click on remember we are still selecting the object inside the power clip by pressing alternate on your keyboard and selecting the object you are able to select the object inside the power clip so you click on uh, transparency tool and you click on your match mode and click on multiply and now what multiply does is it darkens the background inside the power clip and the background blends with the shape itself with the particular color inside the shape so this is what we get when we do this and you can see how it looks like so the next thing you are going to do is to bring in this uh, butterfly to the design i'm going to click on my transparency tool and then make this area transparent just like this remember the same rule we have been using black height and white reveal so black height here and reveals here then you convert this to bitmap and make it rgb color okay and then you press shift on your keyboard and select this other area as well convert to bitmap as well and do the same to this other side convert to bitmap again and do the same to this other side and it's actually done you can still convert this to bitmap as well so the next thing you are going to do with your transparency tool selected you click on your match mode again and click on screen and once you do that screen brings out the brighter part of the design and darkens the lighter part of the design so next thing you want to do is to click on effect you click on adjust and click on tone and by doing this we are able to adjust the tone of this so we're going to adjust it this way and you see the more i adjust that it becomes sharper than the way it was before so this looks perfect so i'm going to click on ok and this is done then you bring this here and adjust it this way you can adjust the size this way and adjust it this way and take this upwards a little you just have to adjust it to a point that fits your expectations okay then you click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate and this time we're going to place this other one here and this looks perfect and fine but then you can reduce this a little i just have to review parts of this a little to create balance in the design so let's click on finish editing power clip to see what we have got wow this is very perfect so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this image into the design you can reduce this so you right click on your image and click on power clip inside and click on the shape and this image goes inside the power clip and next thing you want to do is to press alternate on your keyboard and select the image inside the power clip then you're going to place it the way you want just like this i'm going to review the parts of our legs a little and that looks perfect it looks cool then you're going to adjust this and make sure you place it in such a way that trees at the center of the design and now i need to let you know this that every tutorial i make on this channel you might not do the same particular tutorial but i like you to get the idea 
and use this idea to utilize your skills and make more of designs like this so you might not use the same picture but you get the idea of the tutorial you get the idea of the design and develop your skills and do more and more and even better than this so that is actually the goal of every tutorial i make now i'm using this image to set an example so you can understand what i'm actually trying to do so let's get back to design so you place this this, this picture in a, a way that it's actually in the center of the design and next thing you want to do is to bring the happy birthday lettering and i've got many people asking me what's the typeface for this happy birthday lettering it's actually i got this typeface actually i got it from freepick.com and i got it and use it for my designs i don't actually know the typeface that i've tried figuring out the real typeface itself but i know it's actually a custom font made by a designer so I'm going to click on my folder again to bring in the happy birthday lettering into Corel Draw, and you click on yes. That is actually how Corel Draw 2021 works. So this is the happy birthday lettering. I'm going to right click and click on uh, power clip inside and click on my shape. So the happy birthday lettering goes inside my power clip. And next thing I want to do is to press alternate and select the happy birthday and bring it up here. Then you can adjust the size and place it perfectly in a balanced way take it up a little and i think this is perfect just like this and then you press ctrl page down to send it behind so this is what we have got it actually looks very perfect you can adjust the size again by pressing alternate and select and now when you press alternate you select an object inside the power clip and when you press alternate again and select again you select the other object still inside the power clip so that is just how the trick works you can adjust the size in such a way you scale it in such a way that the happy birthday is still understandable even when her head covers the happy birthday just like what you can see here you scale the size like this i think this is perfect and okay okay i feel good with this so let's move on to the next process the next thing i'm going to do is to open up my power clip now i want to add shadows to the to the gold curve inside the power clip so let's click on this and click on edit to open up the power clip then you press alternate to select the uh, gold curve just like what you've seen i've been able to select the gold curve then you click on your uh, shadow tool and create this shadow like this so the shadow comes down here you can adjust the shadow opacity like this and this looks cool then you adjust the faders to 10 and this looks perfect you see the gold uh the gold curve pops up a little and that looks perfect you click on finish editing power clip to close up the power clip just like this and this looks very cool and the next thing i'm going to do is to type her name here uh this is the name and may 26 the birthday is actually past i'm only making this tutorial to give you the idea of how i made this design they press ctrl k to break the text apart you can select all and give it this typeface futura and basically i like using futura typeface so well in my designs because i find it perfect for almost all my designs i feature this typeface a lot in my designs and most of it have been watching my tutorials will understand that i'm really in love with this typeface it actually looks very perfect for designs then you can make this bold and click on may 16 and bring it up here a little press shift on your keyboard and select uh, the lizzy and press l then you bring this here and place it here i think this position is very much perfect can i just decide like that and then what i'm going to do here is to make a little effect here you press ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text apart just like this you see all the alphabets are broken then i'm going to select z and y and press ctrl q to curve the uh, font and click on here and the fuel goes away then you right click on black and click on set outline color and you see this outline z and y 
then you adjust the hairline point to 1.5 and this looks very perfect you click on these other ones and give it this um, deep navy blue and remember i'm working with rgb colors because i'm actually printing this cover though i'm using the direct imaging machine to print this so when i do that i use rgb because direct imaging machine prints directly and it does not require color separation that will make the colors to fall four times on the design but since i'm using direct imaging machine to print i'm working with rgb you can always break the rules if you know them that is why i always say you break the rules when you know them actually the original rule is that when you are printing you use cmyk for print and when you are uh, designing for screen or web you use rgb but you break the rules if you know them and if you need more explanation you can follow me up on instagram and send me a message if you need more explanation about this and i'm going to give you a detailed information about what i just explained now okay then you right click here and click on save outline color to get this blue hairline as well then you click on may 26 and give it this navy blue color as well and this looks perfect but you can select all and bring it down here a little and it looks very perfect here so you select this and press ctrl g then we are done with the front cover design and we move to the back cover design remember your front cover should always be on the right and your uh, back cover should always be on the left side of your design and that looks perfect so i'm going to open up this again and bring this so you click on these other pictures and bring it into corel draw just like this uh the picture pixel is way too much that's why it's actually very large so i'm going to reduce it this way and bring it here okay click on this other picture right click and click on power clip inside and click on this then you press alternate and select the picture again and bring it to this other side then you can reduce this this way and this looks perfect and nice you can bring it here again and this looks perfect and the next thing i'm going to do is to create a shape with my paint tool just like this you click on your paint tool and then you click and then you click here and click on the center here and create this curve just like this now many people have problem creating curves with paint tool but if you follow these steps perfectly you understand what i've just done here then you know paint tool always want to create curves but you can change this curves to a straight line and what you have to do is to press alternate on your keyboard and click on this node to change it to a straight, a straight line then you bring your node here to this edge and drag it this other way down here to get this other curve just like this and that is done you press alternate on your keyboard and click on this node to get a straight line here and bring it to this node here on the center of the design here and take it upwards to this other node and bring it back to the original node then you get this curve just like this then you can give it a white color and then right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline just like what you've seen then you click again and drag this to this direction now this is what i'm going to do i'll press ctrl z to bring it back to original now when you select this custom shape you click again to get this curve so you hold here and drag it to this other direction and you right click before you leave to make it duplicate itself just like this i have two shapes now press ctrl z to return this back then with this i'm going to give it another color so you see the difference then i'll press shift on my keyboard and select the white shape and click on trim to trim this out just like this Ctrl Z to return that back then i'm going to click on this other white click again and get this curve then you hold here and drag it to this other side so this is what you get basically then you click on this remember this has left the center of the design let me use the rulers to show you the center of the design you press p and this is it this is the center and this other shape has crossed the center to the other side so you use your shape tool to hold this node and bring it to the 
center and that is the division it looks very perfect and nice so i'm going to open this up and bring in these uh, yellow background ones again into the design and right click and click on power clip inside then you click on this background to power clip the uh, the background inside the shape you press alternate and select the background again take it upwards and that looks perfect then you're going to open up the shape to edit this content so you click on edit to open up the power clip and click on your background then click on transparency tool and give it this transparency down here just like this and this looks cool and nice okay you can always adjust the size again and bring it here and once you are done with that and you're okay with that you click on finish editing power clip to finish up this way but i don't want this place to be like this so i'm going to give it a white color to give it this look and this looks perfect and for the white shape i've cut out here i'm going to give it a gold color so i'm going to open up my uh, uh, folder again and bring in this gold gradient here and then right click and drag to the shape so when you reach the shape here you leave it and you have this option so you click on copy fill here then you can delete the gold gradient you click on this shape again and click on interactive fill tool to edit your uh gold fill just like this so this is what we have got and let me know in your comments if you love this gold fill and you would like to get this fill even when you are not a channel member you like to get this fill all you have to do is to follow me on instagram and send me a dm to let me know you followed me and i'm going to send you this gold fill directly directly to you and that will be pretty good so i'm going to click on my lips to to create a circle here you press ctrl on your keyboard and create this circle just like this and you get this circle this way so you click on the gold field i want to take this gold field to this circle as well so you right click and drag and bring it to this circle then you have these options you click on copy fill here if you can't do that you can still import the gold field again and use it so you click on the circle click on your interactive field tool to adjust the fill on this gold just like this you can place it anywhere you like and what fits your design you press shift on your keyboard and hold here to reduce this shape like this now when you press shift on your keyboard you are able to reduce this circle evenly then you right click before you leave to duplicate the circle just like this so we have two circles now i'm going to give the top circle white then you select all you select all and bring it here and then you can reduce this and place it here and then you click and drag and bring it downwards and reduce again so this is what we have got then i'm going to power clip these two images inside the um, shapes so you right click on the first image and click on power clip inside and click here you click on this again right click and click on power clip inside and click on this other shape so then you press alternate on your keyboard to select the image inside the power clip sorry you click and press alternate on your keyboard and select the image and then reduce this this way and place the picture properly how you want it to be now you've got this idea and you can always use it for any notebook uh design you want to do a birthday notebook or it might not be a birthday notebook but you can use this idea to create any notebook design a jota design you like to do so let's place this perfectly as well so this is what we have got and with this i can say i've been able to finish up this design let's see how it actually uh, looks like i'm going to zoom this up like this so this is the final look of the design let me know down in the comments if you love this design and if you've learned something new through this video and make sure you give a constructive comment and if you like this video leave a like and make sure you share this video to other designers who will find this video helpful and then if you are watching this video or you are coming into the channel just the first time and you've not subscribed yet make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever i put on a new video 
just like this one but before i say thank you very much for watching this video i would like to show you the actual and the final look of the design after it was done this is how it actually looks like the design after the whole job and the finishing job was done and that is to say this design was already done and packaged and delivered so i'm only showing you how the design was done so this is the final look of the design you can always use this idea to create any notebook design you want to do but before then i'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video i will see you next time